we've all had muscle cramps. That's basically what you're having. Chattanooga police use the X-26 from Taser International. It delivers 50,000 volts of electricity, causing your muscles to contract 19 times a second. The video looks graphic and the jolt is painful, but police say it's a better option than what they've used in the past. Sergeant Kevin Kinser is a training officer for Chattanooga Police. These devices keep us from having to get into physical altercations. Once the device is deactivated, you're fine. Man. With the, the PR24, which is our, our sticks, or the pepper spray, you know, you have lasting effects. But some question the safety of the tasers. With news reports across the country of people dying or being seriously injured from them. The human rights group Amnesty International says there are dozens of cases of people dying after being tased. Earlier this year, the Bradley County Sheriff's Office arrested 41-year-old Christopher McCargo for public intoxication. Investigators say he admitted to drinking, smoking marijuana, and smoking crack cocaine. Officers say McCargo became combative and used a stun gun on him. McCargo ended up in the hospital on life support. Since there was a taser or stun gun involved, we'd like to have the records of the taser and stun gun firing. Bradley County officials believe it was the cocaine that contributed to McCargo's condition, not the stun gun. Sergeant Kinser says Chattanooga police have never had anyone seriously injured from a taser. To prove that, I volunteered to be tased myself to experience firsthand what it's like. I immediately lost control of my body and fell down. But in a matter of seconds, it was over, and I was fine. Uh, no, no worries. Whoa! Sergeant Kinser says there's an added benefit to using tasers. He cites a Department of Justice study showing officer injuries being down 83% and suspect injuries being down 68% since departments started using these devices. Chattanooga has been using them for about two years. As part of their training, every officer on the street has to be tased themselves. That way they know exactly what it feels like just in case they have to use that tool on a suspect. I have tased every one of the officers that work in this department from Chief Parks on down. And if I thought there was any danger, I wouldn't do it. It is a safe and effective non-lethal force option. You know, I, I think it's you know, the wave of the future.